Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out one of the most common rat traps that I've seen for sale in stores. It's made by Tomcat and it's called the Rat Snap Trap. A pretty simple name. Now Tomcat also makes a smaller version of this trap for mice. I've already tested it out and it was very easy to use and effective. But I'm curious if this larger trap is powerful enough to kill rats. Now on the back they have a very bold claim. It says, Tomcat Rat Trap is the most advanced rat trap design available today. It combines aggressive capture and holding capabilities with a host of user-friendly features, making it ideal for home and farm use. Now down here it says caution. When activated, trap can cause serious physical injury, requiring medical attention. Take care when handling and keep out of reach of children and pets. We won't let our pet rats anywhere near this trap and I'll be very careful with my fingers. So let's take it out of the package and see what it looks like. Here we go, look at those teeth, chomp, chomp, chomp. This trap feels very strong. If you turn it over, you can see the two powerful springs. To set it, you push the top and it clicks into place. There's a trigger pad with a hole in the center and at the middle is a bait cup. You can take that out by untwisting it. We'll fill that with peanut butter and get the rats. The idea is a rat will smell the bait, come along, step on the pad and get caught. And then you can take the trap and give the rat a flip in the garbage. So I'm ready to start catching rats. But first I'll take my peanut butter, fill up the bait cup. My kid's allergic to peanut butter, so this is the only time I ever deal with it. Now we're ready to go set up the motion cameras and get some wild rats. We have a thief. This morning I checked the trap. It was still set, but the bait was gone. Rat very carefully came along, stepped over the trigger pad, and licked away the peanut butter, but did not put enough pressure to set off the trap. Now this trigger pad has a little play. If you tap it down, there it goes. You can tap it a little bit and it doesn't go off. But I want to test it out and see if we can catch a rat. So I'm going to make it a hair trigger. Tap this down just a little bit more. There we go. That's barely sitting on there. Hopefully now the rat won't steal the bait. They'll come along, just barely touch that pad, and get caught. It seems like a good trap, and I'm going to give it another chance. That should be perfect. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see if we can get a rat. On the second night, the trap worked much better and we caught a rat. To remove it, you press the top and give a little flip. The key is adjusting the trigger pad. But once you do, this is a very powerful trap. Now I use traps over poison because I don't want to accidentally kill wildlife. So many wild animals love the dead mice and rats. And I don't want the rat we caught in this trap to go to waste. Let's go set up the motion cameras at the beaver dam and we'll see what comes along to have a rat snack.
When I checked the trail camera this morning, the rat was gone. The first animal to find it was a raccoon, but the raccoon didn't want it. The second animal to come by was a bobcat. Bobcats are amazing hunters, and it didn't want the dead rat. The third animal, though, loved the rat. It was an opossum. Opossums will eat anything. It gobbled it down. And then in the morning, a group of river otters came. They're hunting for fish and frogs. So lately, there's been more wildlife using the beaver dam. I'm going to keep testing out traps and leaving food for the animals. But overall, the tomcat snap rat trap worked. I just wish the trigger pad was a little more sensitive. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. I posted over 500 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.